Welcome back. As we speak, the biggest gathering of tech nerds is underway in Las Vegas for this year's Consumer Electronics Show. Well, the cool kids call it CES, and it showcases the next big thing in technology. And our contributors, Andrea Smith and Daniel Seberg, are in Vegas to tech it out. We know you guys wish you were here. You love and appreciate technology like we do, but, uh, well, it's a tough job that somebody's got to do it. And this is like the Super Bowl of technology. Here. It's fabulous. And, and we're surrounded by all sorts of stuff, but some trends here continue to be 3D, right? 3D TVs everywhere. 3D TVs, 3D laptops, 3D glasses. And eventually maybe 3D TVs without the glasses, which is the promise we'd all like to see come true eventually. Exactly. I saw a 3D TV that you can use without glasses from Toshiba. And maybe no headache or dizziness, too, one day. But all right, now, the, the one problem with every gadget runs into is running out of juice. Right. And so the folks at PowerMat have got a number of different devices to help you recharge in a sort of cordless fashion. Right, because you you have all these cables with you, and who wants to carry all the cables? So this is wonderful because it's a dual charger. These are the two things most people need, a micro USB and an iPhone charger here, right here. And those just go on the PowerMat device You put Mac it right on the PowerMat here, just like this. You pop it down, and it charges. Magnetic no induction. Magnetic. And you can put up to three devices on here, and they charge. I'm, I'm convinced that it's magic. I think it's magic. Now, this is from Oregon Scientific. What is this all Yeah, about? you know, these are getting great because you used to go to the gym and you had these big clunky watches on. This is made of nice, soft silicon. It looks kind of cool, but it's a heart rate monitor. It's a, you know, it'll, it'll tell you how fast you're going, how many calories you're burning. It's really just comfortable. It's touch. It's made from Oregon Scientific. Very lightweight. Very cool. Now, for those who are out on the slopes and wanting to impress their friends with, like, the jumps they've gone off or something, this would be ideal, right? Because they're going to look really geeky with this. <laughs> but you put yeah. this on. Um, you can put it on if you want, or I'll demo it. I'll put it on. Okay. I'm so glad you're putting it on. So you go down the slopes, and you just take HD video of everything you're doing, every pull you're hitting, every person you're barely really missing. I just wiped out. And when you're all done, you pop out this little SD card that's right here, and you've got full HD video to Brag entertain about your friends and family. Or claim that it wasn't you, whichever the case may be. Now, speaking of cameras, this is from Kodak. It's in the line of small, but pretty decent quality video cameras. Right, because they make wonderful cameras, very intuitive, great for sharing. This is called the Playful, much smaller. And what they've done is they've made it so easy, you just hit one button when you're done, and you can share it to Facebook, YouTube, the whole thing. Cool. And now, okay, so tablets are everywhere at this show. I feel like the only person who hasn't come out with a tablet is me at this show. But this is one from Dell. That is the Dell yeah. Duo. Yeah, I, and I think it, you're more adept at this. At this well, I, I like to call it a transformer because you just kind of swivel it over here. More than meets the eye. Aha. Uh -huh. And then you can close it down like this. And, and it's a instant tablet. tablet. Okay. Voila. And I love this because then you just carry it around with you. Every time I turn around, there's a different type of tablet, a slightly different form function, spinning around like that, or a hybrid of the keyboard and the tablet. Exactly. Itself. Tablet Palooza here. But what's really interesting is everyone is waiting for Android's new Honeycomb platform. That's the platform that's being built for tablets from the ground up. And that is what people are having their eye on. And of course, the 800-pound gorilla not here is Apple with the iPad 2 eventually. So anyway, now this, we're going to end with some fun here. Doesn't look like a whole lot. Hey, that's important. But this this is absolutely important. I mean, if you were out at a party, in addition to taking pictures with your camera in here, who would have thought you could use it to open your beer bottle or your soda bottle? Your soda can, yeah. Anything, so you don't break your nails. Exactly, right? Right. And this is how much? Uh, this is $25. This is the only thing at CES, I think, that's $25. <laughs> and you can get an iPhone app for it that will count how many bottles you open. My wife does that. I don't. I don't need help. I don't need an app to tell me anything about that. All right. Well, thank you so much, Andrea. Well, Daniel mentioned Apple not being there at the show. Uh, there are some rumors that a Apple's iPad 2 could be on the horizon. There are already some blogs out there talking about the case, which reveals maybe a front-facing camera and a back camera, which would be dynamite for people who like that. I know so. you're waiting for that iPad 2 before you buy. And also, one cool thing that I also have, I'm hearing more and more about, on your, com on your remote control, uh -huh. soon there's going to be the ability to have a Netflix button on the remote, so you can just immediately stream instead of having to do all the back and forth yeah. with mailing it in. So Not bad. Yeah.